Thank you. 320 here on KHTS. The KHTS Home and Garden Show is quickly approaching again. It's the 11th year the station has been hosting the event. It gets bigger and bigger every single year. I think this year we're expecting upwards of like 35,000 people. I mean, it's insane. Now we have to host it at Central Park, big open spaces, offering the widest array of vendors and exhibits for your home decor, arts and crafts, jewelry, fashion, and more. Of course, you're going to be walking around, so you're going to be getting hungry. It's going to be a little bit hot out there. A ton of food trucks on deck. This year, we've added Auntie Anne's to the mix. Joining me in studio, Auntie Anne's ambassador, owner of 11 franchise locations, Linda Reed. How are you, Linda? Great. Thank you. It's great to be here. It's great to have you. I, I love Auntie Anne's. We're big fans of Auntie Anne's here. I don't know if you've seen anybody here, but uh, we're obviously big fans of Auntie Anne's. So, Linda, I was telling you off air, I've done extensive research on you. Uh, too much research, I think. You own 11 Auntie Anne franchises. Is that right? Well, actually, I've downsized a little bit, and I have seven now, but I have a f uh, added a food truck to my uh, fleet, and I'm also about to add a Cinnabon truck as really? well. Really? And actually, Cinnabon will be coming to the Home and Garden Show. As well? Yes, and this wow. should be our grand opening event for our truck, so we're excited to bring it to the Home and Garden Show. Has Auntie Hans always had food trucks? Um, it, in about last 10 years, they started out as trailers, and um, now they have morphed into food trucks. There's about 30 food trucks across the country. Wow. And we are the first uh, Auntie Anne's and actually pretzel truck in California. Really? It's a, it's a big hit, I'm sure. Yes. Do yes. you guys go out on like uh, a street in L.A. and post up or is we it just? We actually don't do very many streets. We have a big truck. It's 34 feet long and it's pretty hard to find a parking space in L.A. I'm sure. 34 <laughs> feet. But we do a lot of festivals. We've actually been in Santa Cl Clarita quite a few times. We were at Bows, uh, Meows and Bows Festival. Okay, Bow Wows and Meows. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Boots and Brews. We were at Light Up New Hall and Senses. So we really enjoy coming to the Santa Clarita area. Definitely. Uh, you own the franchises through Pretzel King LLC, which is one of the larger women's owned businesses in LA County. But by my estimation, seven franchises. You are the pretzel queen, are you not? Well, thank you. <laughs> I, I, I like think to so. think that I am, or a pretzel princess. <laughs> Auntie Anne is the pretzel, pretzel queen. Yeah. So I can be a princess. So I'm thinking of our mall here in the Santa Cruz Valley, the Westfield Town Center. Do you own that, Auntie Anne? Actually, I do not. Oh, you don't? No. But okay, I so we have, I, I, I've always wondered this. We have a, an Auntie Anne's uh, on the top floor. It's two stories. There's an Auntie Anne's on the top floor. Generates all the traffic. In fact, I've never seen anybody posted up at Wetzel's, but there's also a Wetzel's on the ground floor. How do you negotiate that? Do you do you yell at the mall's operators? Can you negotiate Wetzel's out of there? There's nobody ever at Wetzel's. Everybody goes to Auntie Anne's. Well, I don't want to say too much about my competition, but we think Auntie Anne's is the best. Uh, we have the freshest pretzels. We, we always maintain our 30-minute freshness guarantee, which I can't always um, speak for our competitors. But... It would be our preference to be the only pretzel operator in right. the mall. And at times, I, I do have two stores in Northridge Fashion Center and did for 20 years, and, and our competitors have come in there. Uh, and with the changing retail environment, I don't believe it's best to um, cannibalize sales of various vendors and add to duplicate operations, but I don't have a lot of control about the landlords. And with, the malls, with the malls falling by the wayside, I feel like one of the biggest drivers is food. And you see it here at the mall. We're yeah. expanding. We're getting a Costco. But really what's driving people are the restaurants and, and the Auntie Anne's likes offerings. Yes, I think it's more the experience that people go to a mall for because it's so easy to shop online now. That's why we've done a food truck because we want to go where the people are. Right. Uh, take the pretzels to the people is kind of the motto for Auntie Anne's these days. And we do a lot of third-party delivery that's helping to keep our business sustaining in the malls. But if you're in a, in a good mall with high traffic, we're still doing well in the malls. She's Linda Reed, owner and operator of seven Auntie Anne's, uh, including an Auntie Anne's food truck, and you're going to be adding a Cinnabon uh, food truck to the fleet. Both of those food trucks are going to be at the KHTS Home and Garden Show coming up at the end of April. More info on uh, the Home and Garden Show at scbhomeshow.com. We all know about the pretzels, the original, the cinnamon sugar, sweet almond, the sour cream and onion, and the pepperoni and almond and, uh, and raisin. Uh, six different types of dips, but there's nothing like pairing it with one of the Auntie Anne's fresh lemonades. Am I right? Yes. Oh, they those are the best. Well I like the original. Which one is your favorite? I like the almond. You do? I do. I'm, a, I'm an original dip. man. But I, I love Try dipping it with the nacho almond. cheese. Yes. Oh, the best. Oh. 
uh, Linda, you didn't bring any pretzels for us here we at the station. We're going to have them for you at the Home and Garden, so okay. they have to be fresh, and I didn't <laughs> have a store close enough to maintain our 30-minute freshness guarantee, but we definitely will have pretzels I at love the Home that. and Garden show. I love that. The 30-minute guarantee. And what do you do with the pretzels after? Do you, do you only make enough to satisfy the customers within that 30-minute range? Well, we try to do that, but in, in various communities, we have um, – uh, charities that will come and pick up the pretzels and we will donate them too and we do that through food harvest donation program so that's a great way to to um, be sure that we don't uh, waste too much and speaking of public service uh, uh speaking of the lemonade too auntie Anne's is also a partner with alex's lemonade stand foundation you guys support the mission to find a cure for childhood cancer are all seven of your stores involved with that as well yes all stores across the country are actually involved in that auntie Anne's has actually raised five million dollars towards wow. that and funded some really important cancer research projects that had some amazing results crazy awesome uh, download the pretzels perks app start enjoying your rewards today book a food truck look linda's got one herself she's soon to have a cinnabon food truck as well let Auntie Anne's cater your next event. Swing by the truck at the 2020 SEV Home and Garden Show. For more info on April's Home and Garden Show, go to SEVHomeShow.com. And for fresh baked happiness all year long, visit uh, the Auntie Anne's location nearest you. I was also looking because I do a food news segment on Wednesdays. Auntie Anne's has a special Valentine's giveaway. Do you know what it is? Yes, we have um, heart-shaped Valentines on Valentine's Day. Buy one and get one free. Love that. <laughs> awesome. Go to AntieAnds.com for more info. Linda, thank you so much for coming in. Thank See you, you at the for show. Thank you for having me.